ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by today we got a brand new supercard video and we got some interesting things to talk about so of course we're gonna have by wednesday we're gonna have our, our pvv awards pvv pvp and um well we got a couple things to talk about we've got a couple things to talk about now the speculation going around new event coming out um what's it gonna be you've seen teasers and all that in app stores and all that kind of stuff you've seen um some interesting things come out in other YouTube videos that it's all speculation at the moment. Well, I'm officially here to tell you today that I know what the event's going to be and we're going to discuss it. We're going to discuss what it is, how you play it, what you get. Is it a, a global leaderboard? Is it just a throw together event? We're going to discuss that. I'm getting stuck into my Wild Wednesday. I've got five more undefeated games to play because, well, I should, this happens. I get 2-0 in, and because I'm sandbagging to get easier wins, I get that base card or ultimate card, whatever I'm running in my deck. It's really unfortunate. However, however, event. Brand new event. Awesome to hear Supercard are bringing out new events because it's a pretty pretty big thing that you need to keep the game and, and the audience interested and still around. And Cat Daddy and 2K know how to do that quite well. Uh, I'm not going to dust these. It takes too much time. We're just going to get stuck in and try and win. So, the brand new event, the official name of the event, the code breaker event not bad not a bad name code breaker the event's called i kind of like that obviously throws back to chris jericho a little bit you know breaking the code code breaker all that kind of stuff now this is the interesting part because this is the part where we all kind of had our feelings about it possibly being a, a a team roadblock uh singled event you know like everyone was team roadblock if you remember team smooch and team roadblock you or remember team roadblock so you all had speculation it was going to be something remind reminiscent of a of a, a team roadblock but without the team involved so a solo roadblock now i can confirm it has its similarities i won't say it's the same game mode but from what i've been told from what i information i have it has its similarities i'll read this to you you can obviously put it together yourself and decide but i'll read this to you and we'll see if uh if you're feeling the same way so so in this brand new event You'll have to crack the code to weaken your opponents using a combination of alignment arrows across four rounds in each level. GU meets Roadblock. Kind of what it sounds like. It has the four rounds. GU has three rounds, of course. Um, matching arrows, which is what GU and Roadblock have to do. In GU, you pay attention to the arrows. You match all four, you get more points. In Roadblock, there was one arrow and you'd have to rapidly play as many cards as you could before it changed the arrow. Then you'd play that card's arrows. So, weakening your opponents by using a combination of alignment arrows sounds very, very similar to Roadblock in my opinion. However, I liked the event, so I don't have an issue with that. A lot of people had issues with it because apparently uh, they didn't like the gameplay of the event. But just like Over the Limit, nothing's perfect when it first comes out. It needs a bit of time to be, to be tweaked, you know? So, I'm excited for this. I think it sounds good. I can confirm, of course, after that it says, as you move up the ranks of the global leaderboard, you'll have a chance at better rewards. Global leaderboard, will this take the place of Last Man Standing? No, no, it will not take the place of Last Man Standing because Last Man Standing and Clash of Champions are some of the best events in the game. If you are a person versus person hunter, like I am a PvP hunter, I like challenging myself and see where I end up against some of the best of the best of this game. And that's what PvP events do. It's what leaderboard events do. It is nice to have another leaderboard event thrown in the mix because it means now we have three in the running and it won't always be the same LMS this month clash this month it'll be a rotation which is really nice really nice i really like that i'm excited to see the the uh the playtime jump up for everyone this weekend new events when the first clash came out i 24 hour streamed it everyone jumped in everyone was loving it it's just how it goes new events always inspire us being a new pvp global leaderboard event it'll inspire us even more and having similarities to gu is a good thing because gu is regarded as one of the the more fun game modes uh i don't know if i necessarily share that opinion because sometimes it does my head in, just given the fact that sometimes you don't get the arrow you need. But this sounds like it may play a little different with the whole, you'll have to crack the code to weaken your opponents using a combination of arrows. Maybe it'll be like TRB where the arrow will pop up and you'll just play whatever cards you have that match that arrow. It won't be unnecessarily, you need to get all four in a matter of three seconds. So four rounds, kind of cool. I'm interested. I mean, four rounds means all four arrows are going to be played or at least the combination of arrows. So they could do anything here like an actual code breaker game and they could give you an up, down, left, right arrow and you have to have an up, down, left and a right. And if you don't, well, you score less. If you do, you score more. They could do a lot of things with this. Obviously, 
it's all a bit of speculation at the moment. I only have the confirmation of the event name and what you have to do in the event. I don't actually have confirmation of how the event's going to play out yet. That's going to be something for all of us to experience together. Live on stream, twitch.tv slash kinkit. And of course, check out that link in the description down below. But I'm excited. I'm very excited. If I can get stuck in and finish this while Wednesday, we'll get our rewards done and then we'll jump into PvP rewards. But it is it, Supercard are doing the right thing to bring in new events this early on. Or at least this early on, I guess, maybe is a bit bit of a weird thing to say. They brought in Clash last year. I think it was around August, September. I could be wrong. Uh, any of my fact checkers, jump in the comments down below. Let me know when that actually did drop. 24-hour uh, stream that we loved it. Myself and the community loved it. So hopefully Code Break is the same. Uh, a global leaderboard event is better for your content creators. And I'm sure Supercard and Cat Daddy know this, being that they're in touch with a lot of content creators. We are now allowed to stream this all weekend. Ring Domination, TRTG, they run out. They run out. You, you get two days out of them, maybe three days if you're a bit slower, you're not doing the heroic. They run out. Leaderboard events don't run out. And people always want to watch them because they're always grinding themselves. So if you're streaming this four days out of the four, it's live. People are going to be there. If I can get in the top 50 for this event too, I've got a pretty good track record, you know? I don't, want, I don't want to break the wallet too much. I don't want to break the wallet too much. But it depends on what the cards are. Obviously, today, NXT, Candice LeRae finally won. Finally, she won a championship. I've been waiting four and a half years. So if they put Candy, Candice and Indy as the two cards, well, I'm going to be upset. They might do that for Clash later on in the month, though. Who knows? They might do it for Money in the Bank. They might not do it at all. And Codebreaker event could be Roman because we haven't had a Roman card for a while. So regardless, they're going to put it as a card that makes people want to play. I don't think they're going to put this new event card as someone who's not going to draw eyes because it's a new event. They want good traction for it. And they usually make good decisions here. We need one more undefeated game. So let's versus Billy. I think it's a bot account, but let's versus Billy. Get this dub. Open our Wild Wednesday. Open our PvP and see what we get. See if it's anything decent. Uh, I think it will be. I got a good feeling about this time. Got a good feeling. Wild Wednesday's kind of shafted me the last couple of times. If you've seen the last videos in the last couple of weeks, you've seen. Um, this will also be video number three for the week. Wow. Gamer. An absolute gamer. Who would have thought? The Warlord takes 15 days off, comes back three videos in seven days. Sheesh. Oh. Well, guess we're playing another one. Guess we're playing another one. We got, uh, we got shafted. We got shafted by the odds. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Of course, let me know down below if you're excited for the Codebreaker event. If uh, if Codebreaker is something that stands out to you, it's fun to say. I'm going to keep saying it all weekend. Codebreaker. I like saying that. Will we get some kind of graphics package like Jericho? Who knows? Who knows? So let me know what you guys think about the event and what you think about uh, the rounds of the event and how you play the event. Is it, From what I've told you, is it something you vibe with? Or is it something you're like, uh, maybe I don't like that. Maybe if you're lucky, your first round will be a left, 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 right. Left, 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 right. Yeah, left, 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 right. And you'll have all of them on the board. Instant 3 million points. I don't know what the points can be like, actually. It may be just one point per card. It'd be easier to pay attention to that. But then I guess if you had neon, a full neon deck, you could do well in this event. That's another, another questionable thing. If you have a full neon deck, can you play this event? Will this event be free player friendly who aren't at the top of WrestleMania 37? That's another really good question. Let me know what you think down below, of course. I'm always interested to hear. Always interested to hear. I think we're officially done with Wild Wednesday. That took forever. We are. All right, let's claim it. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Surely a WrestleMania in here somewhere. There has to be. I haven't got a WrestleMania since Wild Wednesday for WrestleMania tier. I don't think I've got any uh, Rumbles. I'm fairly certain i got no Rumbles in Wild Wednesday. But it is what it is. I can't complain. It's a free thing. But I would very much like to be rewarded. That's a good sign. Behemoth there. It means this is a WrestleMania for a pro. We saw what happened to my deck in the last video. I need to rebuild it a little bit. It's 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 hurting a little bit. It's hurting. My GU is not the best, and that's coming up soon. So, please. It's two rumbles. Look, that's not terrible. I got three swarms last week, so... That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Uh, I don't think they're new images. I think they're all pros. Well, they're not pros, actually, but they're not new images. So, that's okay. These things happen. Let's do our PvP. See what we get out of the re rewards for this. Hopefully, once again, something good. PvP++. plus plus. What are we thinking? I'm thinking one Mania and the rest base tiers. I think Behemoth's the lowest you can go in this pack. I'm not too sure. But uh, let's go Mania. Please. Cat Daddy Gods. 2K Gods. Send me your power. Raiden, strike me up from above. We got a Rumble. 
but it's only a rumble. It is a Yo Shirai, though. It's a Fort 3, I think. That's going to help my women's GU. Not that I know that event's coming back, but it's not a bad card to have. I'll lock it in because actually I can fortify. So I'll lock that in. 100%. Our momentum. We, oh, we got another Behemoth here. It's always Walter. I always get Walter in this pack. It literally always happens. Interesting. Good fusion food, though. I will train this away. If anything, speculation once again is that we're going to get some returning legacy slash Hall of Fame cards coming back for that event on the 28th, I think it is. I'll check the calendar in just a second. So, who knows? Who knows? I might need those cards to trade into it. We'll go to the calendar. We look here. We see right here, 28th. Turn something old into something new. You know what I'm saying? Something old, legacy cards into something new, Fusion Chamber, newer Hall of Fame cards. Who knows? Who knows? These Andre packs have had Hall of Fame packs in them or Hall of Fame cards in them, I should say. We have a Clash of Champions two days before it. This is a great month. May has been a great month. We started with a Flash event. We move into a new event. We have Giants and RTG, which are two events I really enjoy. Into Clash, which is my favorite event of all time. Into an unknown event. 2K and Supercard. Keep that up. That's the stuff we like to see. As players, that is the stuff we like to see. So there you have it. That is the touch up, the official announcements of Codebreaker, the event for Supercard. I'm excited to see what it actually plays like. Obviously, I'm speculating what we're going to get from the small amount of information I got given. Uh, I'm very excited for it, though. A new event always excites me. So let's jump into the Matrix together and break the code. Let's get our best Neo impersonation and dodge backwards. Don't blow, don't blow your legs out, though. That'd be a bad thing. I'll be live on Twitch streaming the event, as usual. Uh, event start, two or three to event finish. So come hang out. It's a good place to be, twitch.tv slash kingkitten. Links in the description down below. There's also my Discord and my Twitter. Stay up to date with all the bands that I put out there. I'm a lot more um, uncapped, I guess, on my Twitch. So if you want a more uh, interesting side of Deej, come hang out on the Twitch. Thank you guys for hanging out. Blow this video up, hit it with likes and subscribes and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do an El Lyco. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Code breaker soon. Exciting. Sweet.